Welcome to Ellis B. Feaster's Radio Air Check and Classic TV Channel. John Lennon and Yoko Ono recorded Happy Christmas, War is Over, did that in New York City. In 1986, in more recent times, on October 28th, the Neiman Marcus catalog offered a unique holiday gift, a 100-year subscription to the Wall Street Journal for just $6,000. <laughs> for $6,000, you can get a subscription to the journal for 100 years. Now, for the professional rate, you can get 100 years of the journal for $4.95, by the way. <laughs> The professional rate. In 1996, and this is a guy who, in retrospect, really should be, I don't know, we should be, all be apologizing to him. But in 1996, Richard Jewell, cleared of committing the Olympic Park bombing, held a news conference in Atlanta in which he thanked his mother for standing by him and lashed out at reporters and investigators who had depicted him as the bomber. Here's a guy who wasn't the bomber, because we've now got the real one, and... I don't know that we've ever apologized to him enough, because we all thought it was him, didn't we? In 1996, after being cleared, he thanked his mom. This is about the only person that did stand by him. The FBI never apologized, as I recall. In 1996, comedian Maury Amsterdam died in Los Angeles at the age of 81. Boy, he had lived, he had done so many different things, had his own shows and so forth. But, of course, we remember him on the, what was he, what was he, uh, what was his name on the Dick Van Dyke show? Maury Amsterdam, uh, Rosemary and, uh, uh huh? Maury Amsterdam. It was Sally and Buddy. 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 Sally and Buddy. Yeah. Buddy on the Dick Van Dyke show. Died on this date in 1996 at the age of 81. What a career he had. All right, now let's go to 1972. In 1972, Elvis got a gold record on October 28th. What would that have been? 1972, that's relatively recent for Elvis getting a gold record. It must have been... There you go, Elvis. Yeah, on this date, 1972, did I say that was? Yeah, 1972. Got a gold record for that, for Burning Love. I think that was the last one for him. Uh, Ten minutes until six o'clock in the morning. Uh, yes, it was in 1929. The first child ever born on an airplane was born on an airplane over Miami in this date in 1929, which, of course, Brett brought Ed Hilscher to the fore this morning to say... And we think we have a bad seat on an airplane when the kid in the next seat is just crying. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> what about the woman giving birth in the center seat? <laughs> okay, today I'm outside of... Ticketmaster. I apologize for stepping on your tail, Dodge, uh, but uh, you leave me an opening and I'm jumping into it. Okay, the Texas Stampede coming to town weekend. After next. Now, uh, seven minutes until six in the morning, 98.7 K Love. The other morning, I played a song because there was a date that was tied into the song. There's the thing I did with the Southwest Airlines Love Bug. Sounded so good, it's been on my mind ever since. I'm going to play it again because it's my show by George. Let's... What year did this come from? 1978, maybe? Remember Olivia as she sang? Kiss my. I remember 1978. That came out of Greece, and uh, and it's by Olivia Newton-John, and and both Craig and I have had that in our minds since we played it the other morning, and so we played it again to put it in your mind, so you carry that song around with you from now on. Four minutes until six. Ninety-eight point seven K Love. You know, I've been thinking about. We are professional grade. Ninety-eight point seven K Love and our partner AOL for broadband have teamed up for the worldwide wow. Just go to keyword K Love K L U V F M Dallas Fort Worth. Attention men and women, get hair. Call now. Good morning on KLUV FM Dallas Fort Worth Infinity Broadcasting. And with a Caleb News Update, I'm Mitch Carr. And I'm Nancy J. Here's Caleb Traffic. A bad accident. I'm Ben Laurie with Caleb Airborne Traffic. Red wine is good. 26 to 10. With today's market, power.com. Hey, love weather. For Nancy J, I'm Mitch Carr. <laughs> Conley there, the Eagles here, 98.7 K-Love, good morning, it's six minutes after six on a good one.
Yeah, when I say a good one, we got a string of good ones coming along here. And that cold front, as it were, is pretty much over and behind us uh, with the temperatures getting as low as they were. We're now into the lower 80s pretty much for the next four or five, six days. And maybe there's a shower there on the weekend, but it's just going to be a brief one. I wouldn't worry about it. Wouldn't even think about it yet. Ten minutes after six o'clock on this good Tuesday morning, October 28th on 98.7 KLOW.